Jam fam, it's your neighborhood black girl with Indo, Jamaica. I am getting ready to go on my European tour with my family and I'm showing you all of the non-clothing things that I'm taking. Before we get started, if you are part of the Jam fam, make sure you like this video and hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be going on so many adventures and I want to share them with you. All right, so as you know, if you have been following me for a little bit, I have endometriosis and I also have some comorbidities with that, like fibroids and lots of different things. So when you see this packing for the trip, non-clothing, don't be alarmed by all of the extras that you might be like, why do you have that? Do you need all of those? I do. So I'm going to show you what those things are and I'll probably explain a couple of the things just so that everybody's on the same page. Okay, so I have it kind of split. I don't know. I, I wouldn't say it's super organized. Hi, Remfy. I wouldn't say it's super organized, but I'll go through, you know, each sort of section and talk to you guys about what everything is. So over here, I have things for my teeth. My teeth are such a struggle. Such a struggle. I have very, I have a complicated tooth story anyway. I have a couple different toothbrushes because sometimes I get a toothbrush and it hurts my teeth. So I just brought a couple options. I didn't want to bring my like actual toothbrush because I want to have that when I get back and I don't, I just thought it was too much. So I got a new toothbrush and then I got two more new toothbrushes <laughs> just because I wanted to be sure that I wasn't in any um, pain from my teeth. Like it just seems like unnecessary to add that sort of pain. Um, so yeah, that's why you'll see like several, several toothbrushes <laughs> in this haul. Rumpy says, do not go, mommy, but I must go. Anyway, so yes, we've got toothbrushes and I think you guys, if you were with me before and you saw my dollar store haul, I got this from the dollar store and, um, I really like these, um, this type of toothbrush holder. But what I was actually looking for at the dollar store was this. I wanted the shorter one that you can just like place in a bag. Like it's hard to place this in like a toiletry bag. This one is what I was looking for. I found it at Target. I was really excited because it came with three of the um, necessary things for your teeth. I also have some extra toothpaste and um, yeah. And then I have two different styles of tooth. Picks. I love toothpicks. I use them all of the time. Like I said, I have some weird teeth things. And yes, from feet. Okay. I have some weird teeth things. And I just want to be sure that everything's okay. Mumfy wants to say hello. She doesn't understand why I would be talking to you guys and not to her. Is that right? Okay. <laughs> Are you tapping me? Are you a tappy girl? Okay. All right. So next I'm going to show you guys kind of the bath and toiletry items. Um, some of the things I actually have to fill before I go. Um, so I'm going to do that in a little bit. But I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, so yes. I don't like to bring big bottles of stuff with me. I have always found that they break and it's become such a big hassle. So I have a little bottle of a soft scented thing that I found. I have scented a skin, so I tend to stick to the same sort of brands. I have these that I'm going to use. I'm actually gonna end up taping them just to be double sure, but I'm gonna put my like regular soap in it. It's non-scented, it's just straight up soap. I love it, and then I do that first, and then I will add a scent on top if I'm feeling fancy. I don't know why it always bothers me, but I'm like, so many people have used this washcloth. I can't use it when I'm at hotels. So I'm just going to bring my loose set and I'm probably just going to throw it away at the end when I'm there. Yeah, so that's really it for the like bath items. Got deodorant, got my spray bottle for my hair. Oh, let's talk about hair items. So as you see, I have a short fro. Are you tapping me? Yes. Hi. Okay. Did you get the things you wanted? Yes. You are contented? Okay. 
All right, so I have a short fro, so I don't need a lot of product, but I do need some things. So I am gonna show you the things that I'm taking with me. I love this brand, and they just had a travel size pack. I got the travel size pack before for something else, and I was like, actually, wait, I don't need to buy any more. I have this. So it's Uncle Funky's Daughters, and it's the kinky curly travel kit and I got it because I wanted to try out the different products it actually wasn't because I was traveling but then I was like I love all these products it's already in a travel kit so I'm going to take it it has five different things in it which is really cool and they work really well for my hair now it's just on me that I just been neglecting my hair I'm gonna do a deep condition before I go but I'm excited to be able to revive my curls with this while I'm in Europe. It's okay, baby. I'll be back. Don't worry. Okay, so that was the hair items. That's why I'm taking the spray bottle. Let's get into these big things at the back. I have three different types of pads that I'm taking. It's the super, the regular, and the extra long overnight of the L period brand. My motto is definitely happy vagina, happy life. And these make my vagina so happy. So this is the only brand that I use. I've been using them for many, many years, maybe five, six years now. I love them. They cured a lot of the issues that I was having vaginally. Like I have uterine issues, but I was having some like vaginal issues, UTIs, yeast infection, blah, blah, blah. I switched to these. Boom, dynamite. All cleared up. So anyway, I use these almost exclusively. If I run out or if I'm on the go or if something happens, of course I will use something else, but I don't use those long-term. I use these almost exclusively. So yeah, I actually had run out of pads. So I got all three, I restocked. I'm not gonna take the whole bag of each of them, but I am gonna take quite a few just to be sure. Yeah, and that's just because when you have fibroids and endometriosis, sometimes you can bleed intermittently. And if you have fibroids in specific places, it can lead to overbleeding at times that are unpredictable. You just wanna be prepared, so that's kind of what I am doing. I like to be prepared, I don't wanna be surprised. Rumfi has decided that it is not time to go and she will prevent us from going by stepping on all of the things. Is that right? Are you gonna move now? Okay. You come over here. Okay. It's still wonderful over here. Okay, so that's the pad situation. Now I've got a lot of like cleaning type things or things to sanitize. So I've got hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer, mini Lysol. I've got alcohol pads, more hand sanitizer, wipes that are for like hands and wipes that are for bodies. Um, I've got tissue. I'm not trying to catch COVID out here. I will not catch COVID. That's not what I want on my special Europe tour. I do not want to be sick. So any sicker than I am, not that type of sick. So I have a lot of things to sanitize. When I was traveling to Denver, um, last week I also I brought similar things I ended up getting more because I'm going for longer so I have a few more things than I did when I went to Denver check out that vlog make sure you like that video and comment on it too it was a whirlwind trip I went for 24 hours to get my passport long story but check out the video to find out why anyway so those are the cleaning and sanitizing things I also have a lot of just housekeeping type stuff let me show you so if you were in my dollar tree haul you might have seen that i brought these bags i'm actually i'm going to end up taking both types of bags that i got so i have this laundry bag it's a small one and i have this laundry bag as a big one we're going for a little bit but we're not going to be doing any laundry i also just want to be sure that i have things separated out for when I get back and just be like okay these are the things I'm throwing in the wash and that's just how it's gonna go um so I have those as housekeeping type stuff and then I also have things to hold items I probably showed you guys these before um but I have these little containers that I put little stuff in um and then I also have some things to help me with some of my clothes that I'm a small human 
So I have some um, bias tape that I'm gonna use if needed. And I have some hem tape that I'm definitely going to need because I'm so short. So some of the things that I have are, they fit fine, but they're too long. So it's like, okay. I was worried because I was like, okay, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wear this. Like, will heels work? I'm not really a heel girl. Um, so, but somebody suggested hem tape to me and I was like, okay, let me try it. So I've got hem tape and then I've also got some safety pins. I like to wear safety pins on things that have like an open front. Like say you have a shirt that opens here. I like to wear safety pins just to be safe. I don't want to have to think about, oh my gosh, is it going to open? Is there going to be a problem? Blah, blah, blah. I already have enough anxiety. I like to take away as much anxiety as I can. So that's what those safety pins are for. Okay, and then last but not least on the housekeeping side, I am taking some of these ponchos. I do have a rain resistant, it's like rain resistant, it's not waterproof, um, coat that I'm taking with me, but I like to have the ponchos just in case I didn't know it was gonna rain. I have this in my bag, I just keep it in my bag, um, and ready to, and raring to go. All right, these last few things are just to make life a little bit more simple and easy. Uh, so I, and this is for my body, so I've got, cocoa butter i love cocoa butter i think it's the best type of moisturizer so i have this little bottle and i'm actually gonna fill one of these little bottles with one of um our bigger bottles of cocoa butter <laughs> one of these little bottles and then i also have bug spray i'm actually not sure what the mosquito stitch is like there but i want to be prepared and then i have some sunscreen this is actually not the sunscreen that i love the most but it's the most compact sunscreen so i'm gonna use that i like black girl sunscreen the best i'm a black girl black girl sunscreen just rubs in and covers really really well so um but i didn't have any with me and i didn't feel like um going out just to get sunscreen so i'm just gonna bring that one um and then i have a couple of different medications i'll do a different video on all the medications that i'm taking i'm taking quite a few of them uh but again i'll do a different video on that right now we're on to the technology part oh and mask and like covid stuff okay so yeah as you know if you have been to europe already their plug system is different so you need to have a plug adapter um for your stuff so i've got this plug adapter they told me that it works in france so i'm hopeful that they were not lying i got them on amazon um all the reviews said it worked in all the listed countries so and france was one of them so yeah i have three of these type things and they have two plugs each so it's six things that you can plug in at a time and then I also have a power bank. It took me a while to find a good power bank. Um, so some of them were like, they had a lot of ratings, but the newest ratings were like, do not buy this. So <laughs> I had to go and like search through Amazon to find one that was like consistently good. Um, so yeah. Then I also have my, what do you call these? Uh, Oh, headphones, <laughs> earphones. I have my earphones. I have two different ones. One I'm going to keep in my just carry-on bag and one I'm going to keep in my suitcase. Yeah. And of course, we have all the COVID things. Now, the COVID protocols have changed and they could also change while we're there. So we're just being safe. We um, are all taking COVID tests with us. And then I also have a big bag of k and 95 masks i also have some just regular n95 masks that i get from my local library they just give them out for free and then i have a set also from my local library of the at home um rapid tests so yeah i am really excited that's all the stuff oh actually i forgot two things <laughs> Okay, like I said, upstairs, I probably should have had these upstairs, but I'm also bringing some earrings. I'm not really an accessory girl, but I do like earrings. And then I have had this pillow for years, actual years. And every time I travel, I forget it. I'm hoping that today I will not forget my travel pillow. <laughs> I really, really hope I will forget it. 
I hope I will take it with me and that I will have a comfortable flight. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you tune into my next video about all the medications that I'm taking. I will see you guys next time. Live your life fabulously. You deserve it.